how can you use the Meta Business Suite as a CRM? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to share with you today. Essentially, I'm going to cover how you can better manage your social media contacts, customers, and conversations using the Meta Business Suite as a CRM. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into the Meta Business Suite, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and get you comfortable with using the Meta Business Suite as a CRM solution. Okay, so how can you use the Meta Business Suite as a free CRM for your social media activities? Well, that is exactly what I'm going to show you. Now, the first thing that you need to do is log into Facebook and then navigate over to your Facebook business page. Now, for those that currently do not have a Facebook business page, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of setting up and creating your Facebook business page. Okay, so once you've arrived at your Facebook business page, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate Meta Business Suite. And that's going to take you inside your Meta Business Suite for your business account. Now you can also head over to your browser and type in business.facebook.com and that's gonna take you here. And if you manage multiple businesses inside your Meta Business account, simply navigate up to the top left hand corner and select the correct account. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm gonna use this business account, my Stuart Gould Facebook business page, as well as my other Meta assets that are connected to this account. Now, if you're yet to connect your Meta business assets together, like your Instagram business account, your Facebook business page, and your WhatsApp number inside your Meta business suite, then what you can do is watch this tutorial which I'll add up above and down below in the description which will show you how to connect all your meta business assets together. And what this is going to do is allow you to manage all these business assets in one place from your meta business suite dashboard. And this is important for CRM related activities. Okay, so in terms of using your Meta Business Suite as a CRM, the first thing that we want to do is navigate over to Inbox over on the left hand side. And this is where you can view, respond and engage with all these different conversations, all these different contacts coming from your different assets. If we navigate across, we have Messenger. These are all the messages coming from Messenger. Then we have Instagram, WhatsApp, we have Facebook comments and Instagram comments. So again, like I mentioned, you want to connect your Instagram business account as well as your WhatsApp number. So you can manage all the conversations coming from your Messenger, Instagram inbox, as well as from WhatsApp. And if we navigate down here, we can search for specific conversations. We can also navigate over to manage and we can select each of these different conversations with our contacts. And for example, I've selected these two. And if I navigate over here, I can move to done. I can also delete the conversation, mark as read, mark as unread, mark as a follow up, remove from follow up and move to spam. OK, so I'm going to navigate over here and unselect these. Then we can also view messages through unread and we can view all unread messages. We can also select on follow up and that's going to show all our conversations that we need to follow up. And then we also have labels over here. And at the moment we have zero contacts to follow up and zero labels. We can also navigate over here and click the drop down. And then we have these other options to filter the different conversations. Okay. So I'm going to unselect labels. And if we navigate over one of these conversations, we can choose to move to done. So I'm going to go ahead and move this conversation to done. Then if I navigate down here and with this conversation, what I can do is click on mark as follow up. And then if I navigate over to follow up, I can see all the conversations that I need to follow up on. This could be a potential customer. Then if I navigate over to filters and then click on done, that's going to show me all the conversations that I'm finished with. I may have resolved a problem or finished with a sale. Okay. So I'm going to unselect done. Okay, so let's navigate over here and click on cancel. And as you can see, this conversation is selected. And if we navigate down here, we can converse with this particular contact. I have these quick actions up here, move to done. I can mark as unread. I can mark as follow up again, delete conversation and move to spam. Then if I navigate down to the bottom, this is where I can continue with this conversation. And I also have these other quick actions down here to help me when composing a message. 
Now the magic happens over on the right hand side and this is where we can use the Meta Business Suite as a CRM. Now we're going to talk more about lead tracking shortly and essentially what this does is allows us to track leads inside Meta. And then down here we have about, this allows us to add contact details about this specific contact. If we navigate over to add details, you can see we can go ahead and add the contact details for this contact. And that's going to allow us to slowly build up our database and capture contact information from our social media audiences. I'm going to navigate up to exit and then navigate down to Facebook profile. This is where you'll see public information if they have any. Then if we navigate down further, we have labels. This is where you can add labels to specific conversations, to specific messages. I'm gonna navigate over to manage labels and then create a new label. This is going to be called audience issue. I can also navigate over here and change the color. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to orange and then add label, then hit done. And now what I can do is add a label to this conversation. I'm going to navigate down and start typing audience. And there we have it, audience issue. And I'm going to add that label in here. I can also choose from these suggested labels down here. Next, we have activity. Now, if we click on add activity, this allows us to add specific activity that's relevant to this contact. For example, we have these four different options down here, order shipped, payment received, order placed, and an appointment has been booked. So again, if these activities are important to you, you can use this section. Now I spend most of my time under notes because this allows me to add specific information in regards to this conversation with this contact or potential customer. So again, you can simply add your notes in here about this conversation, about this contact. I'm gonna navigate down and click on cancel. And then below that, you can see shared photos that have been added into this conversation. And you have the ability to manage all your contact data on the right hand side with all the different conversations that you can find across all your different platforms. So remember you can view all the messages that you're receiving on Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, as well as comments on Facebook and Instagram. Again, I can navigate down to a different conversation, a different message, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on mark as follow up. And if I navigate up to follow up, and as you can see, I now have two conversations I need to follow up with. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this individual again, this potential lead, and then navigate over to the right hand side. So as you can see, you can use your Meta Business Suite as a place to manage all your CRM related activities in regards to your social media audience. Those that are reaching out to you from Messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp. This information on the right hand side allows you to capture new contacts and move them through your sales pipeline until they become customers. Now, another reason the Meta Business Suite is great for CRM related activities for your social media audience is this lead tracking feature. So for example, if I navigate down and click on mark as lead, let's say that this contact reached out to me and I have identified them as a lead. I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And as you can see, the lead has been added. And now this contact has been added as a lead in my sales pipeline. So what I can do is navigate down here and these are the different default stages of my sales pipeline. Again, I'll show you how to customize this shortly. But let's say that this lead was in progress. I'm gonna go ahead and select in progress because they're not quite a customer. They haven't purchased our services yet, but they're in the process of doing so. Now we can navigate up to view in lead center and this will take us to the lead center where we can manage all our different leads. Now, if it's your first time using the lead center, you'll see an option on the right hand side to start using this feature. Now you can also navigate over to the right hand side and you can navigate down to all tools and then locate leads center. And this is where you can create, upload and manage all your different leads coming from all your different social media channels. So again, this is our simple sales pipeline at the moment we have raw. These are our new leads and they flow into in progress, which is the second stage in our sales pipeline, and then they become one if they become a customer. Now, if we navigate down here, you can see that this is the contact, this is the new lead that we just added from our inbox. We have a lead name, reminder, the source, so organic, direct, or paid. Then we have the channel, this lead came from Messenger. Then we have the stage in our sales pipeline, this lead is in progress. And then we have assigned to, who is this lead assigned to? Now to add a new lead, simply navigate up to add lead, click this drop down, and you can create a new lead from this interface, 
or you can upload multiple leads. Now, this interface is also great for paid advertising if you're running lead capturing campaigns. All those leads that you capture through your ads will be sent into your leads center. So let's go ahead and create a new lead. All you need to do is navigate down here and add all the relevant information about that lead. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that now for an example lead. Okay, so I've added some example information for this new lead. I'm gonna navigate down and click on confirm. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just wanna mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you wanna learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And as you can see, I now have three leads. If I navigate over to the right hand side, you can see the record information, the contacts information. So here we have the contact information for this lead, for this record. We can edit the contact information here. We can add a label to help us better identify and manage our leads. Then below lead management, we can assign this lead to a specific team member. I'm gonna go ahead, select here and select myself and I can choose the stage in the sales pipeline, raw in progress one, or I can archive or add this lead as bad. We can select a reminder if I want to schedule a reminder for this specific lead. Maybe it's a follow-up call. All I need to do is add the title for the reminder and select the date and time and then hit save. I can also add notes down here. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel out of this and then exit out of this information. Now let's navigate down to this example lead here and that's gonna generate the chat if I want to start having a conversation from this interface with this contact with this lead. I can also navigate up here and quickly click on chat and that's gonna bring up that chat option here. Again, I can navigate up here and edit contact information if I haven't added contact information to leads that I've generated through my different social media channels. I'm gonna exit out of this. Now we can also navigate over to settings and we can add other team members to help us manage our leads. Then down here we have our lead funnel. This is our sales pipeline. And we have a few options for customizing the sales pipeline. We can come down and add an additional stage. For example, I'm gonna click create stage and type in contract sent and then hit add. Unfortunately, you cannot customize the top end of the funnel as well as the bottom end or these options down here. However, within the middle, you can make as many changes as you like in terms of adding different stages within the center of your funnel. I can also rearrange each of these different stages if I like in my sales pipeline, and I can add additional stages. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna navigate back up to exit. And here you can see the updated view of our sales pipeline. We have raw, these are our new leads. We have in progress when we're working on those leads. And then we have contract sent, when a lead is about to purchase one of our services, and then we have one when a lead becomes a customer. Now you can also navigate up to forms and if you've already created a form and maybe you're running Facebook ads, then you can view all the different leads coming from those forms that you've created. The dates for those leads, as well as the source. Do you wanna view the leads coming from all sources, paid, organic, or direct? Then we have assigned to, if you wanna view the leads that are assigned to specific team members. And then we have labels over here if you wanna view leads with specific labels. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to manage all your different conversations coming from your different social media channels all in one place. And you can also manage all your leads and customers through this interface here, the leads interface. This allows you to nurture your leads until they become customers. And remember, this platform is completely free to use. Now, I also wanna mention services and appointments. First, what we're gonna do is navigate over to all tools and click here, and then navigate down the page and locate services. And this is where you can add your services. For example, if I go ahead and click on add service, I can add a specific service that I offer. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly add a service. Then once you've added a service, you've added all this information about your service, simply come down and click on add service. Okay, so I'm happy with that. You can also go ahead and add additional services. Now, if we navigate back over to all tools, then locate appointments down here. This is where you can use the Meta Business Suite to set up appointments. For example, if we navigate up to settings, what we can do is set up our availability. So the days that you offer your appointments and the times, 
Then navigate over to online booking. This is where you can choose to allow online booking from Facebook. Customers can see your available appointments and book with you at any time from your Facebook business page. And then we have other options over here like the time zone, appointment approval, notifications and double booking and more down here. But we're just gonna leave that for now and navigate over to appointments. Here you can see upcoming appointments, requested, confirmed, and archive. And as you can see, we currently have zero upcoming appointments, but now our potential customers, our audience can now make bookings through our Facebook business page. And this is where you can see and manage all your appointments. You can also navigate up to create appointment and you can manually add appointments if you like. For example, this could be a lead that you're nurturing through your sales pipeline until they become a customer. And first you need to make an appointment before they move through your sales stages and become a customer. Here you can simply add the customer name, then you can choose the service. Remember we created a web development service earlier. And then you can add the start date and time and end date and time as well as add staff notes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that and then navigate back over to the left hand side. So again, in terms of using the Meta Business Suite as a CRM, you wanna make use of Inbox, where you can manage all the different conversations, the contacts that you can engage with in one place from all your different social media channels. Then remember we have Lead Center, where you can manage all your leads and you can nurture all your leads until they become customers. And then we have services and appointments that we briefly talked about. However, that is the fundamentals to using the Meta Business Suite as a CRM for your social media activities. Now, if you wanna learn more about the Meta Business Suite, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will dive into all the different features and tools that you can leverage with the Meta Business Suite. I'll also add other relevant Meta Business Suite tutorials down below in the description. So now you should be able to better serve your audience and drive more leads and sales with the Meta Business Suite. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Meta Business Suite CRM tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.